This weekend, October 6th, the third annual Mad Rock Duck Derby is going to take place as a collaborative effort between the cities of Berea and Livingston. We spoke to coordinator Jennifer Napier as well as Victor Kent of the Kent Family Circus, who will be performing. Hey, did you know Wallingford Media Group develops, designs, and manages websites? Well, we do. Contact us soon for your brand new website, or let us give you a fresh new makeover. I am the coordinator for the Mad Rock Duck Derby in a partnership between the Bria Chamber of Commerce and the City of Livingston. It's a grassroots fundraiser that is helping to put uh, economic development projects back into both communities. This is our third year. When we first started, we just didn't think, you know, we didn't, wasn't sure. It was something that was kind of a new event, not done here yet. Um, and so we thought, we're going to do this. We've heard of it in other places like Louisville and some of the other bigger cities. So we have people adopt little rubber ducks. They're $5 each. They can go online to madrockduckderby.com. And when they adopt a duck this year, this is our third year, so we're growing and we're trying to do more to involve the community and to give back. So this year we have talked with all of the schools in elementary schools in both Rockcastle and Madison County. And when you go online to adopt your duck, you get to vote for your favorite elementary school. And so uh, when we have the duck race this Saturday, then we will do the count to see which elementary school got the most votes. And the winning school will receive free chicken for the entire school for one day from Lee's Recipe Chicken in Berea, Kentucky. The first place is $1,000 and we pay out to the fifth duck. So first through fifth place, fifth place pays $100. And so people that adopt ducks can win money, but you can also adopt a duck for your favorite organization too. For example, uh, Habitat for Humanity of Madison and Clark County they won last year, they won cash because someone adopted a duck in their name. We have up to 5,000 ducks that we can sell this year, adopt out, and so our sponsoring company will randomly select a number, seal it in an envelope, and then we get it prior to the race. We have the ducks race, and then after the ducks race, we're allowed to open that envelope, and if the number that's in that envelope matches one of those first five ducks that cross the finish line, that person wins $25,000. So come out and have fun. We're gonna have open activities, just kind of open for adoptions and things like that at about two o'clock on Saturday in Livingston. So we're, it's downtown city of Livingston. At three o'clock is when the duck drop happens. So if you're at home, if you're online, if you're watching from somewhere else, you don't have to be present to win. And that's a, that's a good thing. So you can go online and adopt, and it doesn't matter if you live here locally or if you live across the country. You can adopt a duck and be a participant in this particular grassroots fundraiser and help support our two communities and have a chance at winning some money as well. And then uh, at after the duck race at 4 p.m., we're gonna have the Kent Family Circus. They're gonna be in Livingston in the gymnasium performing, and they are amazing. They're phenomenal. If you haven't seen them perform, you've got to be there. Um, it's usually a packed house, standing room crowd only for them when they, when they perform in the gym there. So you need to get your tickets online. You can go to madrockduckderby.com and you can find the tickets there. You can also adopt your ducks there. And it's just going to be a fun weekend. We are so excited and so blessed. You know, it's a great partnership between the two communities. People talk all the time about trying to develop partnerships and grow and, and just build up our region. And this is proof that you can do that. Victor Kent gave us some more information about his act and showed us a little sneak peek. This is Webster. Uh, well, you tell them who you are. Uh, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll be seeing a lot of ducks this weekend, which Jennifer just told us about, but you all are also performing, right? Do you want to give us the details on that? Right. Well, we, uh, my family and I, we perform circus magic, juggling, fire eating, bull whip tricks, trapeze, uh, a lot of fire in the show. Okay. Teenagers will even enjoy this because um, I take uh, nails and... Stop squeaking while I'm trying to nail. You see, and that's not the disgusting part. This is right here, you see. Souvenir. The Kent Family Magic Circus. We do the magic, the juggling, fire eating, bull whip tricks, uh, hula hoops. And like I said, there's a lot of fire in it. There's a sideshow stunts, a lot of, uh, a lot of comedy, a lot of good stuff uh, for the whole family. We invite people up in the, uh, in, and get involved into the show. Uh, we have Ariel Silk, um, and throughout the day I'm also going to be the MC at the Duck Derby, so I'll be the voice of the Duck Derby calling the race and uh, announcing the prizes and winners. Make sure to buy your ducks and your tickets for this weekend. For WBON-TV, I'm Marissa Hempel.